Yes, yes, what are you lot saying? Um, I didn't actually think I was going to film a video today. Uh, I have you know, I literally, literally, literally just uploaded my um, best ways to dry out weed video. I think that's what it's called. It literally went up like five minutes ago. I've literally just rolled up my last joint and I was about to sit here and smoke it. But if it's my last joint, I might as well sit here and make a quick video in it. So I'm going to be productive. But I'll tell you what I'm going to do because we haven't done this in the longest time. And I bought the cunt, so I might as well use it. Obviously, we've got the um, bad boy sayer again. But um, it's in the boot. But as you know, my boot can be a bit of a, a shit hole. I grabbed myself one of the one of the best drinks you can buy. Um, I will pay someone to come and clear out my um, clear out my boot for me. But I don't. I normally like to fucking, me and my girlfriend, I don't know if anyone knows the little tricks, but you know when you put the seats down and you like, can like smoke in the back? Yeah, we do that sometimes, but I've got the good old tripod, so I might as well put this up and use the cunt. So let's get to it. All right, so um, like I said, we're gonna do a bit of a fuck yeah. Actually, I don't think I did say it, but we're gonna do a teeny bit of a hot box because um, a couple of you actually asked to hot box my car and I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm trying to do a lot of video suggestions because I'm trying to not keep you a lot happy, but I want it to be, I want this channel to be like um, engaging. The only problem with having the fucking tripod over there is obviously when I'm looking forward, I'm looking this way, I have to remember to look to the side. But as I'm hotboxing, I'm going to make use of my trailblazing ashtray, which you can get on Instagram if you did not know, which probably a lot of you didn't because I don't really talk about it much, as, as much as I probably should, but <laughs> what can you do? So I'm just going to get this on the go. Sorry I'm not looking at you, but let me know what you guys are saying. What, what's everyone been up to? You been doing much? I imagine, because um, we're not, I was about to say we're not really in lockdown anymore, but I'm not 100% I'm not too sure what the rules are. At the moment, I'm pretty sure you still can't be in massive groups. I'm pretty sure it's groups of six you're allowed in. But let's be honest, if you're fucking... If you're making groups of six, like, you might as well just get rid of lockdown. And I know this is going to be... I think some people might agree with me with this. Some people might disagree with me with this. I think this fucking eat out to help out schemes like the biggest load of fucking bollocks because they're saying that we can't be groups of fucking groups of people because it's too fucking dangerous and that and even when McDonald's first opened, I'm using McDonald's as a fucking as a um, as an example. This is my first joint I've smoked today, so it's probably going to get me quite high. So if I forget what I'm on about, you know why. I've got the ashtray as well, so I can put it down. Because the trailblazing ashtray is so sick. It's got these little fucking notchy things on it. Why don't you pick yourself one up? I would show you the grinder, but I ain't got one on me. Um, I don't think, anyway. Nah, so... Yeah, so even when McDonald's first opened, it was dry fruit only because it's the safest way yeah they even said it's the safest way we can do it is dry fruit only so when it's the eat out to help out fucking scheme like they said they're doing it to improve the economy obviously because all the businesses are struggling i get that that makes a perfect sense i think that is one of the best things they could have done but to make it only inside the restaurant is the silliest thing I think because they even said like oh one second I'm just gonna put my phone on charge because I don't want the cunt running out they even said that we are only doing it fucking dry, uh, eating only and as soon as I heard that I was fucking pissed because they want us they saying we can't go out in groups of six or more yeah, when I, like, my nearest McDonald's is a fucking quite a big McDonald's. Like, it's got, like, I would say, rough guess, 30 tables in it. Four people to a table. Someone do the maths. I'm pretty sure that's, like, three, four hundred people. Probably more. But, like... Oh, 
how many did I say 30? 30 times 4. So if you do 10 times 4, that's 40. About 120 people. I was way wrong. But I might still be wrong. My maths goes shit when I smoke. But you'll get what I'm saying. Like, they want us to fucking be doing safe shit. We're not allowed to go out in groups. Yet when we go to McDonald's, you're basically sitting in a massive group. All it takes is one cunt in that restaurant to go in there with the virus and spread that shit. If one guy come into work with the virus, he's touching food, he's fucking taking money, he's giving change, like, it's a fucking madness. I know that's the same thing for the drive through but you're actually, you've got people in a, in an area that's like, that's, it's just fucked, I think. But, and for people like me, I'm not gonna lie, I'm an awkward guy, okay? That's why I do the videos by myself. But, I don't like eating in front of people. I know to some people this might sound weird, but I imagine to a couple viewers, they might fucking understand what I'm saying completely. I just, I hate eating in front of people. That's why I like going through the drive through I sit there, eat in my car, nothing to worry about. But if I've got to go into the fucking restaurant, I hate it, I can't do it. I mean, I can do it. I'm not that fussed about it, but... Just ideally, I don't like doing it. But I've never really liked going out and eating, to be honest. It's just one of them things, I think, that it's just... It's just not a bit of me. So, I just find it silly that they've got that fucking eat out to help out shit. So, I mean, it's good. I believe they're doing five grand to all homeowners as well for home improvements. I might be wrong, though. I'm not too sure what I'm doing in this video. It's kind of just a hot box and just a chat and shit episode. Um, so it's kind of like an OG episode, really. I'm filming this on Sunday. I don't know if I'm going to put this up on Sunday because I've already uploaded today. And I don't know if I should do a double upload or if I should be smart and leave this on my camera roll till tomorrow. And then instead of doing a double upload to that tomorrow today, I'm getting fucking confused. Instead of doing a double upload today, keep it on my camera roll and upload it tomorrow. That's probably the safest bet. But for some reason, when I film it, like, if I smoke a big joint, because sometimes I roll up bigger joints and I'll try and squeeze like two videos out of the joint. Whenever I do that and I have the video sitting there on my camera roll, I just want to upload them. Like, I, I hate just sitting on videos. Like it's quite a good habit to get into, I guess, how, like holding on to them. If I got like a Benz, let's just say, if even if I picked up a gram and like smoked it on, let's say Saturday, and I got two joints out of this gram, and I got two videos per joint, that's four videos. So I could basically do a video like every other day, just from like one day a week, if that makes sense. So it would be quite a good idea to start stacking the videos up like that. So it might be something I might start looking into, but hopefully you lot enjoyed this video because I'm not really doing much. I, I, you seem to like it when I just sit here fucking and chat shit. I've had a lot of you message me on Instagram, so thank you. I have been saying if you want, if you've got anything to say, hit me up on the Instagram. The link is in the description down below if you just press read more. I, does, it, does YouTube even say read more? Or is that just Instagram? I don't know. It's in the fucking... It's in the description. It'll take you to my Instagram. I like to do polls and shit on the Instagram because I feel like it's a lot more um, engaging. It's like quite a good way to like chat to you lot and see what you lot want to... Like what videos you want to see. Because as much as I would like to just upload any old shit, I, I, I want to get out the videos that you lot want to see. So... But I have recently had quite a lot of people message me saying, yo, I just stumbled across your channel and I fucking rate it. And when I get messages like that, it is nice to be fair. Because I've only got 2,000 subscribers. Like, that's not a lot to other people. But for someone that literally sits in, like, just sits down in a field, smokes a joint and talks about shit for like five, six minutes, like, what more can you want? I got some guy message me the other day from India. India, like, what the fuck? 
There is some guy sat in India watching me smoke a joint in a field and has taken the time out of his day to drop me a DM. Like, that's sick. So in this video, if you're still watching this far, I want you to hit me up on Instagram. I don't care if it's in England, hit me up on Instagram and just let me know where you're watching my videos from. Because it would be sick to know. I want to make like a little, not like a little list, but I just want to know what countries we've got watching my videos because that's mad. Like... It's weird to put it into perspective, like 2,000 subscribers, like, I'm quite an awkward guy, I can happily sit here and chat shit by myself. But if you put me up in front of a stage in front of 2,000 people, and got me to do the exact same thing, smoke a joint and chat shit, I wouldn't know what to say. But I can sit here and happily do it like this. Which is weird, but like I said, if you've got, if you've got, I've got anything you want to fucking say, let me know where you're smoking from, and if you're new here, and you liked this video, you might as well fucking, you might as well drop me a little sub, innit? Because, why not? For your boy. Um, help me out. I'm trying to hit 3,000 subscribers. I believe we're on 2,050, say. So we're on route. I'm trying to get half a million views as well, because that's quite a big milestone. I think we're on 390, say, thousand. Which is mad, nearly half a million. What the fuck? If I get a million views in total, that would be my life complete. Like, that's the biggest flex, I think. I could just go to my mate, like, look. A million views, one million people. That is mad. Like, what the fuck? Even 390,000 views is mad, I think. So thank you for that. Um, I don't know what more to say, to be honest. Like, that is sick. 390k, like, you lot, I fucking smash it, like, that's all I have to say, really, but I hope you enjoyed this video, I know I wasn't really getting there to entertaining, I've just been sat here smoking, but you seem to like it, so if you did like it, you know what to do, and thank you for watching, my, my boys.